Decentralization decouples data collection from data consumption. This means anyone can consume map data anywhere without having to worry about who collected it or why. Similarly, anyone can contribute data without having to be explicitly directed. Blockchains provide a fair and open record of transactions. When dealing with the physical world, it's extremely important to preserve anonymity without sacrificing accountability. The challenge is selecting a blockchain infrastructure that can support high volume at a global scale. Solana offers a tremendously scalable infrastructure and deeply rich developer platform. By eliminating the transaction bottleneck, Solana allows us to stop worrying about competing for availability and focus on supporting the network. After evaluating the L1 landscape, we believe the developer community tooling and technology are the most robust, well-documented, and secure. HiveMapper is building a globally distributed sensor network where high-quality data is available to everyone everywhere fairly. On the device and application side, we need to make sure that the collection process is hands-off, efficient, and frictionless. We do this by integrating state-of-the-art edge and mobile application technology that's easy to use for anyone. From a data processing perspective, we need to handle a massive amount of data from a constantly growing network. There is an unbounded opportunity to extract novel insights and continuously innovate. By standardizing the sensors, we can maximize the utility of the map data collected by the network. We only support high quality lenses and imagers, which are optimized for mapping. This is extremely valuable to machine learning and computer vision use cases. To ensure the integrity of the network, we leverage security features directly at the hardware level. This includes encryption and LoRa integrating with the Helium network. All HiveMapper dashcams collect 4K imagery, precision GNSS, and inertial motion. This allows us to not only see what the dashcam sees, but understand how it saw it and when. By leveraging high-performance distributed systems and edge compute solutions, we're able to reliably receive and process data from all around the world. Titan, our mapping engine, allows us to transform data efficiently and apply bleeding edge machine learning and computer vision algorithms fairly and ethically. We're excited to open source Titan as the network grows, allowing anybody to contribute it or see how it works. Privacy and anonymity are of the utmost importance. We are not providing a system to track people. We store minimal information besides what is necessary to facilitate transactions. On the imagery collection side, all of the imagery goes through a vigorous privacy processing pipeline, which, for example, blurs license plates and faces. Location data is decoupled from who is involved in a transaction as much as possible, allowing us to preserve an open record of transactions. Map progress is a core metric we use to quantify the utility of the network's contributions for a reward period, which is currently one week. Map progress is a function of coverage, activity, and resilience. Coverage is the total amount of unique road covered. Activity is the total volume of contributor activity. And resilience is how robust that coverage is with respect to the activity. For consumers of map data, it's extremely important for them to gauge how durable and reliable the network is for a region. For example, imagine out of 100 contributors, only one person is contributing the majority of data in San Francisco. What if she develops a crippling phobia of fog and is no longer able to contribute? The coverage for San Francisco would plummet and map consumers would be negatively affected. Since this is a decentralized network, there are no service level agreements or contracts. This means we need to communicate transparently the characteristics of the network at any point in time. Map consumers can then make their own educated decisions about when and how to interact with the network. The Earth's surface is divided into exclusive regions covering the entire world. For each reward period, there is a maximum number of tokens that can be minted. These potential tokens are distributed amongst all regions and scaled by something we call the Region Progress Score, which is the map progress score for that particular region for a period. All of the tokens minted in a region for a period are distributed amongst its contributors according to the relative utility of their contributions. Fresh, novel, high-quality data provides the most value to the network versus low quality or redundant data. Consumption of the data you've contributed to the network is extremely important, and therefore, that's also rewarded. Achieving and maintaining high reputation means your contributions are more efficient for the network to process. That means more tokens can go towards rewarding your contribution as opposed to rewarding those who had to review it. Yes, we support universal threading, which allows you to use almost any off-the-shelf mount. Currently, we only support vehicles like cars and trucks to ensure that the camera is as stable as possible. Moving forward, we're excited to see what other kinds of devices people will build to support other vehicles. The cameras themselves will work in a wide range of weather and temperature conditions. However, only well-lit, 
and clear imagery provides value to the network. Yes, as long as there's an internet connection, most data is transmitted in real time or as close to real time as possible. For the best user experience, we support automatic Wi-Fi uploads by default. The HiveMapper app uses cellular data similar to any Maps app on your phone. You can opt in to uploading imagery in real time over cellular if you'd prefer. Our infrastructure is built with fault tolerance in mind, which means we are robust to downstream Solana availability. In the event that Solana is no longer generally available, our infrastructure is highly adaptable. As long as the country operates in the 868 to 923 megahertz range, then yes. For each reward period, the relative utility of your contributions determines your total reward amount. Utility is determined by the efficiency, quality, and novelty of your contributions. Once HiveMapper has proven that a globally decentralized map is not only possible, but more efficient and equitable for everyone involved, the network will evolve to tackle more complex and richer challenges such as 3D and aerial mapping. We're currently laying down the foundation for how all of these future systems will work. We're looking for people who are interested in pushing the boundaries of mapping, blockchain, distributed systems, sensor engineering, machine learning, and data science.